I'd just come out of a abusive 27 year marriage. It was just controlled. If I didn't make those lists of what I'd been doing, who I'd been speaking to, I would be dragged about by my hair. Southampton has one of the highest rates of domestic and sexual violence nationally, more than twice the national average. Reports of sexual offences to the police in the past five years have more than doubled. From everyone else looking in, I had the perfect life. Yellow Door provides services for people who've been affected by domestic or sexual abuse. And we work across Western Hampshire as well as in Southampton City. We work to aid prevention. We offer crisis intervention, advocacy, criminal justice support, and a range of therapeutic services for families, one-to-one -one individual therapies, creative art groups. Yellow Door really support us in our training delivery, addressing our, our teams and supporting them in their growth and their learning, and all of that can only be good for the victim. The feedback from our service users is that they do have increased confidence in reporting, but sometimes they don't have equal access to domestic and sexual abuse services. The Diversity and Inclusion Advocacy Service started as a response to the changing demographics in Southampton. So we work to provide support for people who are deemed to be either marginalised or disadvantaged. I provide advocacy support to clients who've been affected by harmful practices, such as forced marriage, honour based violence, female genital mutilation. But we also do a lot of community engagement about these issues. Coming here, it's like uh, going to a sanctuary. It's like I've been revived. It gives uh, wings. It's a butterfly place where women are free to say what they want to say, which bring back their confidence. We commission a core domestic and sexual abuse service. That includes most of the funding for what's called a STAR project. STAR project works in all of the secondary schools in Southampton City and some of the primary schools to help young people understand what a healthy relationship means. Often the things that we're talking about are very, very poignant in a young person's life, but they're also very, very difficult to navigate. The fundamental premise of what we're doing there is trying to encourage conversations between peers. We have a project called Lads Chat, where specifically they're talking about things like sexting, use of pornography. It's really, really powerful for those guys to know that there's that consistent person that can offer that support. What we find with children and young people who've experienced domestic or sexual abuse is that they simply don't have the words. It's about allowing that young person to come in and just express themselves however they can and build trust. My daughter needed some extra support. She was literally like mute. With Jo, she explored how to get those feelings out. Her confidence just built. She's like a changed child. <laughs> The relationship between Yellow Door and our IDVA service proved a really strong match. And as part of that, we have the PIPA line. The PIPA is the single point of contact for Southampton City for all of the domestic and sexual abuse referrals. But we also work with local mental health practitioners. Pathfinder is a national pilot to help them identify risk at an early stage and improve the signposting to support victims. Yellow Door are invaluable, they give a service that we just can't. There are so many other people who need that specialist support that don't come to us and this service is here for those also. They really do see need and respond to it. How they deliver such an impact is, is quite impressive. I was believed. Yellow Door gave me a completely different outlook. There's more for my life out there. <laughs>